Thursday yard sales, Tuttle, Oklahoma. Uh, more sales than I thought there'd be, and one sale I wish there had been, but they didn't start it today. Um, I spent $258 today, folks, but I'm gonna show you real quick what I bought. Um, no certain, in no certain order, but the first one I went to, um, they wanted 10 for this. This is the Michael Jackson, the Ultimate Collection. It's got a book and CDs, well taken care of. I wanted 10, I got it for seven. These go for $30 pre-owned. This thing is almost new. So that was a good deal. I did comp that one, I, don't, I didn't comp everything. Some of the things that I picked up, I said I was never gonna do again, and I did anyway, and you'll see that. I got a ton of CDs, 40 of them for $50. She wanted two a piece. I negotiated and they are several of each band that I'm gonna name for you real quick. Nirvana, um, Pearl Jam, Led Zeppelin, Metallica. Um, Pink Floyd, so a lot of rock and they're multiples of each one. And then I got this Just Dance Wii um, for a buck. So spent 58 at the first yard sale and got the Michael Jackson thing and the, um, uh, the CDs, 40 of them, plus for a quarter a piece, a bunch of Michael Jackson t-shirts. I For a quarter a piece, I don't really look at them a lot. Um, these are Bravado. And so I don't know if they'll be valuable or not. Bravado's a little bit older, but not vintage. Um, this one does have a neck tag in it and it is anvil. And most of these are U size. The daughter was a big Michael Jackson fan and I got five of these. Uh, this one is also on an anvil tag. So there you go. And a quarter piece, I will do that all day long. This is on a Toltex tag, but again, not vintage. None of these are vintage, uh, but they do have value, and believe me, much above a quarter. And then this one I think is also bravado, and there you go. So quarter piece for those, and, and I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I went to another sale, and like I give tips, if I don't see video games, I ask if they have any, and sometimes they bring them out. I would say maybe two or three times out of 10 when I don't see them and I ask, they've either been sold or they sometimes go in the house and bring them out. So always ask, and I always ask about ball caps. This guy said he had a ton of them and his wife was on him to get rid of them. I asked if he had any vintage, like three stripers. He said, yeah, but he didn't. Uh, but that's okay, because here's what I got for a dollar a piece. George Strait, okay, and that'll be a, a decent. This is a country, and country radio stations do pretty well too. So for a dollar, this is a brand new with tag OU National Champions 2000. That'll have some value, that's old. This is a Tanya Tucker Tour cap from 2000. So there you go. Justin Boots, always a good snapback to buy. And it is a snapback, it is not a uh, stretch. The town is called Tuttle and their mascot is the Tigers and they used to use the Texas Tech logo, but Texas Tech uh, made them quit doing that. This is actually a Texas Tech uh, ball cap. So I grabbed that. He gave me this free. You cannot buy these. Oklahoma City Fire are only authorized by Oklahoma City Firemen. So that one I, I won't be reselling. And then I got some more here. Again, a dollar a piece. Mountain Ridge Huskies. Don't know what it is. 1994. But it's still got a tag. So for a dollar, I will take a chance. This one is PBR. That's uh, Bull Riders, Professional Bull Riders Association. So some cowboy's going to want that. This is a college, Seminole Junior College. A lot of baseball players go there and start out and then go D1 if they're good enough. And that's a good one. That was his son's. And then the other one that was a dollar. That's right, guys. One dollar. Vintage Super Bowl 30 Dallas Cowboys. And you know it's vintage because it's been a while since we won the Super Bowl. Um, snapback, logo athletic, new with tags. One dollar. Yes, sir, that's what I paid. Yes, ma'am, that's what I paid. And uh, that one's gonna be worth a little bit of money. I looked it up and it looks like it goes for about 40 or so, but brand new, never never used or anything, may get a little bit more money. I paid $2 a piece for these. Monster Jam Crush It, I don't know what they're worth. 
uh, Fallout 4. That one's not a crazy valuable. And I had another couple of them here somewhere in a bag. Um, here they are. Because I also bought some other stuff that I said I was never going to buy again. And I hope that's not them. I'm looking. I'm looking. Hang on, folks. Well, I will find them in a minute. I'm going to move on. Um, I gave a quarter piece for these, and that's the only reason I picked them up. I think that one has a little bit of value on Wii. Wii Ski is not valuable, but for a quarter, I'll pick it up. Um, Sing It, I know that's not valuable, but again, I'll pick that up for a quarter. And then Star Wars uh, Complete Saga, I'll pick that up for a quarter. Disc only. A couple of Lionel Richie CDs for a quarter piece. Uh, picked up this. This actually comps pre-owned pretty good. It's headphones. And I did give eight for this. It goes around your neck. And these come for about 40 bucks. Um, I gave $2 a piece for these. It is complete. Or not complete, but it's Wii Disney with the uh, game pads and figures. $2 a bag. She had five bags. And guess what? I bought them all. Five dollars or two dollars a bag. There, this one's Imaginators and got figures and everything with it, as you can see, and a ton of them and bases. This one is uh, Superchargers. Same thing, comes with a bunch of figures. You can't beat that for two dollars because you're going to get some money, and some of those figures may be rare. Uh, this one is Trap Team. Same thing, and then this one is Infinity. There's a couple of those and some figures. So two dollars a piece for those. I got a ball glove for a dollar. It is a Rawlings RBG4. I just sold one of these for about $30. So it's in really good condition. So it may go a little bit more, but that one's a decent one. And that's a uh, right hand. No, that's a left hand throw. That's even more valuable. Didn't even realize it was just now. Um, I did pick up three bats. This one could be a decent amount of money. I just preliminary comped it. It is a clincher. Um, softball bat, um, model 7046HT, paid five for that, paid five for this Easton, and this uh, D Marini. D Marini is always a great brand to pick up, and they're all soft softball bats, five dollars a piece. Two jackets, I paid ten dollars a piece. This one is a skull, and I wish it had more bling on it, but it is a skull, and this guy saved up his skull cans and got this like you do camel cigarettes and some of that stuff. He wanted 10 for it, it is older. So skull jacket, again, I did not comp it. I took my chances, $10, because that could be pretty valuable. And then most of you will know about this one. I also got this for 10 and it is a Carhartt jacket in very good condition, almost brand new for 10 bucks. I will definitely do that. And then, uh, yeah, here we go. I told you I was never gonna buy these again. I'm down to a couple of pair, and guess what I bought? Yep, Miss Me Jeans, but they're blingy, and blingy ones can sell, so I ended up, she wanted 20 a pair. I got them for $6 a pair by buying them all, and there are shorts as well. Shorts sell better, it seems like, than pants, and again, they're real blingy. Um, I think most of them were 31s, if I remember right. 32, 31 to 33s, and again, I got shorts and pants, and I just said, let me, I mean, because they're not worth a ton of money, but I did see some in the in the 30s online, so for $6, I'll buy them. These are really blingy, as you can see, and these are 31s. That's three pair. Then, then as I was getting ready to leave, the girl goes, well, well I got some shorts. Miss me, and they're col colored, colors, colored, whatever. And uh, so I gave six a piece for those. Again, she had 20 on them. And uh, you can see it right there, 20 bucks. But I gave six a pair. So those will be listed, and those are size 28s. If I can get them by my daughter. Um, these are Rock Revivals, and they're very valuable in men's, but in women's, they're not as valuable. But these are 27s. And again, $6. All the jeans and shorts, I gave $6 a pair. I've been selling shorts at a higher price. These are also shorts, 31, distressed, miss me. 
And then the last pair of missed me uh, again. Uh, the blingy ones seem to sell better. And again, I said I was never gonna get into them again. And what did I do? Got into them. Oh, here's the other stuff. All right. Some people will laugh and some, oh, I got a Monster High doll for a dollar. And I don't know which one this is, but I will always pick those up. Um, here's the other two games I got. I don't think real valuable, but $2 a piece, I will pick up PS4 games all day long. And um, again, I spent $258. I got to chatting with the ladies at the Miss Me place, and the lady said she had to uh, ask about bras. If I did bras, I said, I've never sold a bra. I said, but I already sell dog clothes and makeup. I might as well look at bras. Are they Victoria's Secret? And she said, yes. And I said, well, only thing I know about bras is that bigger sizes seem to sell and Victoria's Secret seems to sell. Well, she wanted $4 a, pair, a, a bra, and I bought a whole bag full for $33, $3 a piece. So what's that come out to? About 11 of them. And they're all either sports bras or these are bras, and they're all 34C, I believe, is the size. So I'll have to go through each one. I did do some initial comps. Not on those individual, but just on Victoria's Secret 34C bras. And it looks like they're all over the place between 7 or $8 up to $25. So it won't be killer money, but for $3 a piece, I'll, I'll do that. And they're all the same size. I may even bundle them up and do something like that. Maybe you can give me your input into that. Those of you who've sold them before. I know Angie Resales has sold them, et cetera, et cetera. So... Ah, oh, man, I had to hurry up and get back or I would have stayed out, but I have to get my shipping done today so I don't take any dings from eBay. And uh, tomorrow I'll be in the Surrey Hills edition to do it again. And uh, if this video comes up today, so be it. If not, you'll see another part of this tomorrow, but I'm going to try not to keep them too long. So this is just a sourcing video only. I hope you learned something. I hope you see that there's some money here. And I'm definitely going to make more than I, I spent. So... I hope you're having good luck and I hope your sales are good. And uh, I didn't have a great day last yesterday, but again, sales are sales, profits, profit. Take them and run to the bank with them. Y'all have a great day. I appreciate the new subscribers. And there you go. See you folks. Have a great day. I forgot. I bought a bunch of cards. This guy had a huge amount of sports cards. He knew a lot about them. He had boxes of them. He was willing to sell them all for $25. Um, I thought about buying them all, and they were in pristine condition. And not only were they in pristine condition, this gentleman had them sorted by position, quarterback, wide receiver, tight end, etc. He had them sorted by individual. So Colin Kaepernick, he had all theirs together. He had all of you know Tom Brady's together. No rookie cards or anything, but he had some sleeved up. They are in pristine condition. Um, I decided I didn't want all of them. Some lady walked up and said, my husband said to come back and get them all. But unless this gentleman's buying them. And I said, you know what? I want a few of them, but I don't want all of them. There's just too many cards. There were probably several thousand. And again, they were organized. And this is just one example. I ended up getting them. The ones I picked five boxes, three were quarterbacks and then, or two were quarterbacks or three were quarterbacks, something like that. I didn't go to any other positions, and I, and I may or may not have been wrong in that. But And then I also got all these uh, Marvel cards, and I don't know anything about Marvel cards, but for two for basically about $2 a box, I'll take a chance on those. This guy really took care of them. It looks like he went through them and probably sorted them and got the ones that were, were decent. Um, these are press pass. Um, and again, I don't know a lot about cards. I haven't I haven't delved in them too much. But this guy has dividers in them. And he's got stuff like this is a Brett Favre box. And anybody that knows more about them, Paul, flipping sports guy, some of y'all may know more about these, the value of them. Um, again, I may do bundle deals. But the cards are in really good condition. He didn't handle these. He just sorted them and put them by position and by player and and all that good stuff um and again i've got a whole box three boxes of quarterback cards all sorted alphabetically by player <laughs> it, it, i mean he took some time to do this so um he said he just sold a tom brady rookie card for twenty five hundred dollars and i believe it 
Um, those go for a lot of money, but a lot of these are, uh, there you go. Man, who is that? Calvin Johnson in college. I guess these are all college ones. So again, for $10 for five boxes of cards, probably I, I'm guessing about a thousand cards. I'll, uh, I'll take my chances, but this is going to go on the back burner because I don't know enough about them and it's going to take time to go through them. So again, that's part of the deal that I did for 258 today. I, I'm going to try to leave again. Looking around, looking around. Don't see nothing. Oh, see you later, folks.